Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Avatar review, and this one is on uh, the Torok Makto and Tree of Souls. So on the front of the large box here, we have the LEGO Avatar logos and a picture of everything that there is and that neat border that's going on, on that we've been seeing on all the sets so far, and the three mini figs included, or four mini figs included. And age recommendation is 12 and up. Set number 75574 has 1,212 pieces. And now, flip to the back of the box. We have the two logos again, and that neat border, and another picture of everything, and a couple of screenshots of it, or little pictures of the set, and also the measuring dimensions of the Leonopteryx, of course. So. And now on to the instruction manuals. To which there's actually a whole ton of four in here which build different sections of which. First one, which is small one, these two small sections, and also how you like split it up again with four people, which of course happening with all the sets lately. But on the back of this first one, how to win on the online survey, and then the last building step of that, and how it connects to the other bits. Second half, second booklet. For that, and also had for Lego Instructions app. On the back, just the Lego Avatar logos, all the pieces that come with the set. And again, and final building step of that. And then, the third manual, which done a little differently than that but like vertical instead of horizontal, but on the back of which, add for rebuild the world, final build steps. And then last but just for the Leonopteryx, of course. Rebuild the world again. And then advertisement of all the sets of this wave and how they connect all together. And also their boxes, of course. And then the last building steps of both. And also in each manual, little shots from the movie, which haven't happened in LEGO in a long time, but nice to see, great to see there. And also, I would have one of these little cardboard envelopes, which hold both the manuals and also the uh, film strips or film pieces into it to keep in good shape and good quality of oh, which nice that they've been doing lately but yeah so first off are the four mini pigs included with this set So now from left to right, we would have another variant of Jinx Sully, and of course, what's in uh, with one of the leg printing kinds, or his Indeteries leg printing, all the same, but will all the mini figs of this set that there's two have the same leg printing, and two others have also the same leg printing, but as for the torso printing, all done quite well, but however, for Jake Sully, of which his printing for his, his front torso printing, face printing, all looks good with those markings on them, of course. And of course, holding the uh, bow and arrow, of course. And as for Niteri, also exclusive variant with the knight sheath on her torso printing and face printing, also done well. But here piece of which done the same in a few other sets and 
Also, the only two that are exclusive to this set is uh, Moat, or no, no, Sute, with same hair piece as Jink did, kind of does, but although has interesting uh, print bit on his uh, face printing, which al also looks good for that. And of course, holding a little tooth piece has a little knife bit to it. And then lastly, Moat, with but a little different one with the uh, red long arms instead of in blue like the others, of course. Aside from that, quite nice to see there. And of course, holding the common bow staff piece is there. Okay. And as for the back of each, back of each of them, well, all of which do have the like. Uh, same exact use, uh, reuse of that tail piece from the Looney Tunes minifig series, but good to see there. And also, as you see, Sute and Jake do have the same hair piece, but Moat and the Natiri also have the same hair piece. Which, but of course, even though they were common in a oh, few other sets as well, of course. But if I take off all of those. And as you see, okay, their back torso printing, which all also looks well done with the striping and whatnot, and also the nice ones for Moats as well. And of course, the head pieces, all quite the same, all the same that there is. Okay. So as for this minifig selection as a whole, I would quite good choices for that. But although it would be nice if they also could have included Hitrukon since leader of the tribe or the clan, of course. But also we could have included another uh, part of the uh, the Navi version of Grace Grace Augustine. Well, or maybe that would have bumped this a little too a little more expensive, but would be a little too much, but aside from that, still good selection here, but yeah. And then next to which is the Dire Horse, of which, which I'm not going to say much about, because it was just the same as we've had in the Site 26 uh, set in this wave, of course. But same features of it, of course. A little bit does come off like a regular Lego horse piece, but also, you can take any Navi fig you want and attach the hair piece onto that, making the bond, and have them sit up on it, like you would with any Lego horse piece. But yeah. Some of the set is, of course, little bits of Pandora, like we get in the three other sets of this wave. But this is which, but you actually get three separate ones in this set, which is kind of interesting how it is. But so for this first bit, we would have a bunch of more jacket sloping going on, and of course the clipping kind of bits on both sides. But then, and like in a couple other sets, get reuse of the like King Pig's uh, crown piece in Glow in the Dark to represent one of the glowing plants, which is nice to see there. But on this one side, I have one of those newer spiky fin pieces, which we've probably seen in Ninjago and whatnot, but good to see here used as one of the foliages of that. And then also a little more going on there, and one of those classic vine-like pieces there in, in brown representing roots or something. And also get 
So those like palm tree kind of pieces, but in dark lavender. Uh, very nice to see there. And the rest of which just regular bricks stacked with uh, jagged slopes and all. And also good use of the elephant trunk piece on there representing a tree branch or something. But yeah. But aside from that, still nice to see him. And also good use of those uh, purple spikes on there, of course. And that's it with that one. Now let me put it back there. And on to this other half of which, as you see, a little less going on. Like, plenty of hinge kind of pieces on this section with good use of those uh, newer cow horn spike pieces, but in red. And also some of that again. On there. And also to get a couple of leaf bits in different colors in either in, in both orangish yellow and lavender and also lavender flower pieces or actually dark pink color and also those leaf traditional leaf pieces but upside down for that very neat quite nice use of that of course and also you get one of the dragon horns from elves but in brown and holding the like palm tree pieces making an actual bit of a palm tree quite nice to see there and of course if I were to suggest why the why there's the blue jagged slope pieces here is probably to represent the flow of energy throughout the forest that there is but yeah so that is it with that one and now on to the large bit of it. And of course this is which the most largest bit that we've had with any of these avatar sets. Like from first glance, so like this center bit, or most of which, as you can see, from first glance, see it's comprised of mostly like the green plate, or these green plates, and also plenty of jagged slope pieces, and also those common flower-like pieces, but with that piece again in glow in the dark, which you get very few of for that. And also the newer flower piece again, but in uh, aqua blue color. And of course, do get the uh, small ugly rock piece over there here. Okay. And also you get some more of that as well. And also those pieces but hanging upside down. Well, one in green for that. And also go upwards. Have a like curved slope piece on here. Would have been nice if it been better if it were another jagged slope piece. This which kinda kinda gets out of the way of the pattern, of course. And the other side, which has a little bit of the olive green plate piece. Only time you're seeing that. You see that in this set, of course, but on down below is palm tree piece again, but in dark pink color. And same kind of detailing going on, but I'm sure. And I think these dish bits are also glow in the dark. Of course. But also further upwards, you do get these like newer stand like pieces, but in clear, of which holding those rock bits above representing the floating mountains of Pandora, of which but well effective. For that. But whereas for the backside of this build, which a little bit vacant to that, and of course small ugly rock pieces again, but at least are like fully enclosed and of course I'll do get a few studs there brought to stand a minifigure two on and also for this upper bit of which as you can see which comprised of a few technique pieces on there and also another one is vine pieces again as well and also, do you get a three rod sticking up there? 
and what that's for, which I'll show a little later. And so now, on to the main so with these two bits, which clip on to the side, so that and get a whole bunch of them. But if you get all sets, then you can get a whole uh, big diorama of it going on as well. But yeah. Now on to the next section, of which the important Tree of Souls. Of which, the build of which kind of similar to what we have with or had with most Lego tree pieces or trees that we've always had, but this one almost as much effective, but the leafy bits a little different, and of course for good reason. And whereas for this bottom root section, we get a whole lot of those vine pieces here, but or those kind of vinish like pieces, but in aqua color in bright aqua green blue kind of coloring and also a lot of good perfect symmetry throughout the build like with a lot of jagged slopes and those curved plate pieces there and whereas for this little section right here there's a little interesting feature of that is that if you take your Jake Sully thing you can like place them on there or, and if you have the one that comes in the RDA Samson and Site 26 set, then you can place Human Jake Sully over here as well and represent the ending part of the movie where he's transferred into his new body, of course. But aside from that, and also we do a good job some of those newer lightsaber hilt pieces but well from monkey kid and whatnot but also in a uh, glow in the dark nice to see and then over here we would have a whole lot of the like curved uh slope going on and also lost not representing some of the various foliage around it and on this side of which uh, some more of that going on with some curved slopes again. I was going to get two of those like newer style whip like pieces that, or two pieces that go all the way around it, the whole thing. And unlike most trees, do have a few technic uh, bits working out for that. And also, does like tri holder pieces, but in black. Nice to see. Oh, which and also good for mocking. And and now for the like remaining bits of it, which are mostly the oh let me check the classic leaf-like pieces back there, but and also the like and whip pieces in the lightish lavender color. Nice to see outside of friends and elves, of course. And also some of which, and, and also lightsaber blades, or rods that also in translucent pink, nice to see. And also, you also get the uh, uh, translucent pink cone pieces and antenna pieces in that color. So. Although what's kind of frustrating is that you take with your Navi figs is can't link it to their hair pieces representing that the bit where he shares memories with it but aside from that the build of which is just pure solid and works out well and that's about it with that and now on to onto the bass cat in the camp in the Pandora skies the Leonopterix which well from first glance at first glance, it looks almost a bit like you'd expect for most dragons of Ninjago, of course, like with the recent wings and the headpiece, of course. And of course, both of which similar to the Banshees that came in the first fly on Ban first Banshee flight set. 
so from the ground up. So now for the flip pieces here, which are comprised of a few curved slopes and also those Technic bits that hold the like clock pieces is on there, oh, which and also those like hinge kinds in the back, as the back toe is quite nice use of that. And as you see, comprised of like the curved plate type pieces there. And the only joints that there are in these legs is at the hips, which is just at the hips, both in and out and up and down. And also do get some of those pieces in orange, and of course the color scheme mainly a lightish yellowish orange and a regular orange, light red, and a little bit of blue and black. Which, which flows really well for that. And as for the center body section, I have a large like, whole bunch of curved jagged slopes and one of those kind of slope bits as well, but probably represent it's like a chest like area and also a couple little slits on there, of course, representing its breathing vents, That's of course. But aside from that, done quite well on here. And if you wonder why it's quite gappy down below, but then of course in universe, it of course will is and little hole on there, which which I'll go over later. Now to the wings of which, or the back body part, which since of course this which is the only bit of the set that uses actual stickers for that. And as you see, it does have one of those door style slope like pieces, but with a long, large sticker on it. And those uh, pizza slice pieces representing little stripes around it. And this back tail like part, which also looks good with the large slope there. And as for the uh, wings that there are, which you get four of for that, kind of like the Banshees. And also like that, comprise a few Technic bits with the like ball joint type of pieces on them, and also these uh, little film-like pieces, but in this case of which go out like, you know, like a pair of tails. And that's for the ones of the main wings here. Which instead of being one piece like the Banshees, it's actually two separate bits. And this which has clear bit to it, also like the Banshees. But the thumb bit, which is actually fixed in. But of course, can like swivel it up and down if, if you like. But it also do kind of go in and outwards. Which, if you look out from this view, kind of it does. And of course, extra posability, nice for this set. Oops. And so now onto the head neck kind of area. That for the neck, which is most comprised of like a few different uh, pieces through that, and also. That little armor bit here, like we've seen on a couple of mechs in Ninjago for that. And also a little uh, hanging bracket piece on there, which what it's for, I'll use it late, I'll show later. And we're just going out to here, and we have also have a like macaroni bar like piece there, which nice to see there. Now to the head piece, which sculpted really well and it's accurate and have the two large blue fin like pieces and just like the banshees can like the jaw can open it out and also like on the movie have the like teeth that or front teeth that interlock with each other great and also have the doubles two sets of eyes that there are and also unlike the banshees where 
and or also like the Banshees. It has the new antenna-like pieces that we've seen on in throughout this line. Where you can take your Jake Sully minifig can slide them onto that and slide that onto it and got the bond again. That's now one little more little thing for that. Oh right. That little bit is for which connects to that little rod section there. In which you get a position and slide it right on. And well there. And with that you got a neat display bit or display scene going on of course. But yeah. Get everything here. So now for my overall verdict, I think this is which a great set. Like you get about five. Let's see five builds added into it and if, even though it may you know that brings to the totaling of 150 bucks which but at least well worth it for that like get five neat builds and four interesting different minifigs included to that like one of the most important being Sute and all and also get two important parts of the movie the Leonopteryx and also the important trio of souls to that of course. And also do get plenty of nice recolors of pieces, of course, and also the well size of it, quite good for as is. And also the Leonocteryx does have some good posability to it, of course. And so now if you're looking to get this set then for your avatar display collection, also definitely pick it up. And if you got or if you got the money to me you know, for this one then also definitely pick it up and that's it with this video please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching